if you notice, I just powered the TV on using my voice, okay? Sends chills up my spine every time to know that Samsung has come this far with their innovation. Uh, we want to thank you on behalf of Samsung and CES for visiting this portion of the booth because it is our most intuitive and innovative uh, smart TV experience yet. We will be going over three different uh, topics during this demonstration. Voice control, facial recognition, and motion control. You were able to see a little bit of what the voice control can do. I will go ahead and interact with the television stating commands. We'll discuss that, and then we'll talk a little bit more about it before we move on to the next features. <coughs> Hi, TV. Channel up. Channel up. Volume up. Volume up. Volume down. Channel down. Hi, TV. So if you notice, there are trigger words that you will say to activate the voice command bar and then to deactivate as well so that you don't have um, our eavesdropper listening to your entire conversation, if you will. Um, so that's pretty smart. So Samsung said, okay. We love that feature, however, we need to be even smarter because we recognize that most of our consumers have a set-top box or satellite, right? It could be hundreds, even thousands of channels that they have for viewing. So let's say I want to go, you know, 500 channels up. Am I going to say channel up 500 times? No way, okay? And we don't want you to have to do that either. So included in our 7,500 and 8,000 series televisions, this beautiful device will be inside. This is a wireless IR blaster. It connects via Bluetooth initially and then transmits signals via IR so you can go directly to your favorite channel and access whatever programming you'd like to see. And I'll show you exactly how that works. Hi TV. Channel number. Channel 23. Channel 1, 2. Hi, TV. I hope we like the people's court. <laughs> it wasn't my intention to go to this channel. This is what it was. But if you notice, it recognized different ways of me stating that number. So I can either say by single digit, I can say 1,023, I can say 1,023, 1,023. Okay, so it will recognize all of those commands. So moving into our facial recognition, which is probably my favorite, I have already created a login <coughs> on Smart Hub uh, via this television. So if I don't want my sister logging on and updating my Facebook, which I really don't want, um, now the new way or the new age of pass passwords is by facial recognition. Okay, really nice. If I can turn your attention to the top center of the TV, there is a built-in camera. This is a facial recognition camera as well as a Skype uh, application web um, conferencing camera as well. There is a lever on the back of the camera that allows you to adjust the camera angle up or down according to your living situation, and it has a 30 degree viewing angle going out plus or minus 15 degrees. Okay. So I'm going to show you exactly how the facial recognition works by voice commanding Smart Hub and then doing the facial recognition from there. Hi TV. Smart Hub. Hi TV. Okay, so this is our newest version of Smart Hub. It is now in HD, an improvement over last year, and you can also customize your background so that it's more favorable to you. Hi TV. Log in. At this point, the facial recognition camera is being activated. It will recognize up to five people surrounding me. And so that my sister can't log into my account, it recognizes my eyebrow and eye movement. So, <laughs> who are my beautiful people standing next to me here? <laughs> Didn't mean to take the mug shot, uh, but that's how it comes up there. And it has recognized uh, my domain there, logs in by my email address, and then you have the option as, as users to create your account if you are a new face. Hi, TV. Exit. 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 Hi, TV. 
So now moving into our final portion of the demonstration, which is uh, motion control, probably the most popular feature out of our smart interaction uh, features here that we're showing at CES 2012. which is now my hand, open palm, select the web browser, I'm just going to close my hand and open that, and that serves as a click. Come back. I'm getting too crazy with them these days. So that will connect us and get us into our web browser. Super neat. Uh, no need to double click with Samsung Smart TV. So Samsung said, great, that is a smart, smart interaction feature. We need to now be even smarter. We recognize that our consumers sit anywhere between 4 to 15 feet away from the television. So how on earth? Cancel. Hi, TV. Are they going to be able to access one of these hyperlinks from 12 feet back using your hand? So we've created what is called a virtual cursor. I'll go ahead and activate that so I can show you exactly what that does. You can see here there's an extension to my actual hand, to the cursor. So I can get within range of whatever link I would like to select. Go ahead and select that. So I don't have to be, again, exactly on top of that. So we've gone over our smart interaction features, which again are voice control, facial recognition, and motion control. I would like to conclude the demonstration by having a volunteer power off the TV using voice control. Whoever would like to go. You want to, yes. Okay. I'm not English speaking, but uh, I can try. Yeah. You can change uh, the language also? You can change the language. There's 23 languages as of now, um, but it, but there's actually 26 because American has, there's, all, there's three different uh, uh, accents for English. Australian, English, and American English. Hi TV. TV power off. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. So, uh, at this time, I would like to ask you to kindly exit, but please stay within our booth because we have so.